This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the easiest way to build and run your own website. More on that later. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. This week I'd like to give you some plant updates and there's really quite a mixed bag of stuff. We have some Anthurium Delta Force updates, we have some Variegated Gloriosum updates, very exciting. We have a few oddballs really, there are some different things. I'm just gonna waste no time at all and get to the plants and show you. So first things first, I want to show you this and I'm actually quite disappointed in this, I won't lie. Now, now, I'm sure it is what it is. I'm sure that's just the perils of these plants, to be honest. But this was a wishlist plant for me a long, long time ago. I don't know if anyone remembers, but I really, really wanted one of these. This here, believe it or not, is a Syngonium Red Spot tricolor, except you may notice there is not much tricolor. The new leaf has literally the tiniest. Can you see it? Please focus on it. Don't focus on my face. That's so rude. There we go. Has the tiniest bit on it. And then the leaf before that has the tiniest bit of white on it. Honestly, I feel like that's kind Kind of the only proof that I even have a red spot tricolor, to be honest. It has been a bit disappointing. I can't remember the quality of what I got in. It was a long, long time ago. I think I got them in when they were still quite a bit of money. So maybe 2021, and then I think they kind of dropped off after that. So I could replace this, to be honest, if I really wanted to, and I might, just for like my own personal plant. But to be honest, I'm a bit overrun at the moment, so there's, there's no real reason to do it at the moment. But I do think at some point I'm going to have to replace it because I can't... I mean, I can cut it down and try again, but I can't realistically see how I'm going to do that when even the lower leaves don't really have much white on them. And that is the difference, by the way, between a Syngonium Pink Splash and a Syngonium Red Spot Tricolor. Basically, there's the addition of white. So if you think about it, if you took a Syngonium Pink Splash and then you mushed it together with a Syngonium Albo, you'd get this kind of plant, only it should look a lot better. So I want to give you a quick update. Root-wise, though, not a lot of problems at all. I mean, Syngoniums are great for this, and I've said this a lot. They're great plants. So it is cute. It is very healthy. Could do with maybe a bit of a feed, but it is pretty healthy. There's nothing wrong with him. He's just a bit disappointing, look. Bit of a shame, bit of a shame. But that's him anyway. I literally, I wasn't even going to mention him, but I just picked him up before I started filming and I thought, mm, okay, let's talk about him. Let's give him like his little two minutes on this channel. But yeah, root wise, amazing. Not so amazing everywhere else. So what is amazing is, I think it was maybe two months ago, something like that. I did a video all about basically some rare Anthurium high hybrids that I was gifted. And I have that video for, you know, I put it down for you in the description, but basically I got sent some Anthuriums by a company that I do do a little bit of shipping for here in the UK. I am a importer for them. And one Anthurium in particular has kind of stood out to me. So I just wanted to show you it because it's looking pretty hot. I'm really enjoying this. So this here is an Anthurium from the Cartel Dawn video that I did. I actually do have a discount code with them, which I will put on the screen and I think it's only valid for a little while it's not valid forever there might only be about a month left on that so if you want to use that you may you don't have to of course but anyway this is where I got it from and this here I do believe isn't it yeah this here is an Anthurium king of spades and this is sexy this is sexy so one thing it comes in at this really beautiful not quite like pink crystalline and red but it does come through quite a blush red color and obviously it is extremely round I hope you can see this really quite nicely. And the veining on it is absolutely fantastic. Now, it is quite muted. I actually like that. A lot of you guys know I like that. I don't mind stuff with veins, but a lot of the time, a lot of my favorites, um, in terms of Anthurium anyway, don't have veining. So you've got things like the Anthurium Forgetii, the dark form with no veins. Love that. Literally one of my favorites. Amazing plant. One of my top Anthuriums, I think, of all time. Anthurium Magnificum Verde. That is also a Magnificum with very, very minimal veining. I just love it. So Sometimes you just don't want something that is too in your face and it's a bit more understated. And this is one of those times. So I wanted to pick out this one in particular. I do have all the others and they are doing well, but this one's just looking real sexy real fast. And to be honest, I can't really wait till this matures because it looks so pretty. Look at that. Nice close up for you. That is really, really pretty. So, so beautiful and round. That is Anthurium King of Spades. He's so cute. I'll put him down now. Oh, also the roots are doing very well as well. Very, very nice. Very, very pleased. 
I wanted to give you a very quick update on my Anthurium Delta Force. As you know, I have a couple of small ones and I am growing out some of the larger ones that I have. So I've been growing these a lot longer, but I just really wanted to give you a little update on how they're doing because they are 100% true to type. Look at how beautiful this is. This, if anyone doesn't know, if you've been living under a rock, this Anthurium is like no other. I think it is a mix of, and I never get this right, Anthurium Clarinervium with Anthurium Peridoradium. Autumn. I can never say that. Pedatore di autumn. I believe that's how you say it. And not only is it a hybrid of those two plants, it's it's this specific plant that is Delta Force. Now, you get a lot of sellers selling Delta Force and it isn't. They will just simply be selling the hybrid of the two plants. This hybrid here was a bit of a mutant that was plucked from a hybrid of those two plants. And there was only one, essentially one mother plant that has ever existed. And that is Anthurium Delta Force. These are from that original plant. I got my plant through a little bit of a collaboration, if I'm honest, between NSA and Re Gardens. So mine is absolutely the plant. So I do have some of these for sale. Do look on the website. They should be up, I think. I can't remember. I think they are. I did have to close the shipping on the website briefly because I do that every single time I do phytosanitary inspections because what I don't want to happen is we're performing an inspection and then someone buys a plant last minute and it can't go through. They have to wait ages for a new inspection. So that's why I close it. So it should be back open and there should be, there might be one of these. It might even be this plant, I'm not sure, that is for sale. Although, does this one have a pop? This one has two in the pot, I think, actually. So I'm saying that they're two separate plants right there. This one has popped, which is very, very cute, which is definitely a clarinervium sort of aspect of things. So it does do that. It doesn't do it super readily. It's not like Anthurium forgetii does it because that's insane, but it can do it. And this one has. So that's awesome. I never noticed that. How did I not notice that? But yeah, just to show you very, very quickly once again, before I put him down, that is how beautiful he looks. He is absolutely stunning. And I'm so proud of them because they've been so long in the making. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. They've been so long in the making. So I'm very, very proud to have them. But I want to give you a little update just because they're getting quite big. So this is really cute. This is the larger size. I do have a smaller size. Can I pick one up? Maybe not. I think they're all clumped together. Uh, no, we'll leave them there. But yeah, this is one of two sizes. Very, very beautiful. The raffle, I've just done a raffle on one of the larger sizes as well, which by the time you see this, it will have ended. So hopefully it's one of you have won it and hopefully you're enjoying it. But yeah, that's that. Just wanted to update you because they are growing out beautiful. And I know that's always a, a worry of stuff like this. Does it grow out properly? especially when it's supposed to be the Delta Force and it has to be true to type. It is true to type. So there you go. How beautiful is that? I'm going to put him down now because I'm scared of him, but he's very cute. If you're looking for a fast and reliable way to create and run your own website, you should give Squarespace a try. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for creating your own website from scratch using a variety of modern and sleek templates. They're really customizable so you can have a website that's unique to your brand in no time. I've used Squarespace now for well over a year for the Red Plant Shop and it's working really, really well for me. Squarespace have so many templates. They're not dated looking, they're not all the same with just the fonts and colors switched out, out, they're really unique. You're bound to find a layout that really appeals to you as a starting point. Then, of course, you can customize and go from there. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for an online store or maybe you're working on your own blog, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it from me, guys. Back to the video. I just wanted to drop in here with a friendly reminder of how amazing these plants are. And to be honest, it's not a great reminder because, I mean, this is just not the best example, really, because it's not mature yet. But it started to grow, so I thought I'd show you it right here if I just turn it up to you. This here is Philodendron Majesty, and honestly, it's brilliant. So in an elevator pitch, if I was to sell it to you, it is essentially a really good goth plant, and it's matte. Now, don't get me wrong, when the leaves grow in, of course, they are a bit glossy. Let me just try and hold this up for you here. Yes obviously a bit glossy but they actually I mean that's still a little bit new but they do actually sort of dry down not dry down harden off to a more of a matte color not only that but the petioles going all the way up are actually very very matte as well and very 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 dark now I'm not saying that it's the only dark plant out there that is a philodendron there are more than that you have dark lord and things like that this does grow a little bit different and it can grow a lot more compact not only that and again I do not have a leaf to show you at all but these leaves are a little bit like philodendron eel money eye leaves in that 
that they are coffin shaped when they grow. I will shove a picture in for you now. I will just simply stand here. As you can see there, coffin shape, really good. So this still isn't doing it justice. And one day, one day, I will grow one out enough so that you can see this. Because I feel you need to see it. But until then, you're just gonna have to make do with, I guess, this little bad boy. Um, but he is very, very cute and he is growing really slowly. And these are gorgeous, 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 gorgeous plants. Again, you can get other things similar, but in my opinion, this is one of the darkest. Dark Lord's just a little bit different. I can't remember if this bleeds or not. I assume it does bleed because I can tell by the roots here because I've just had to pull this out of another pot this morning. Sorry, I haven't cut one of these in a good while, but I can kind of tell by the pink on that. That's the same as a Dark Lord and it's the same as Pink Princess and they bleed. So I assume when you cut this, it bleeds. I know it sounds really weird, but if you've owned one of those for any of the plants I've just mentioned, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, I'll pop him down. He was literally just a, oh my God, look at him. He's so much bigger because I think the last time I showed you, he only had maybe like the bottom tier. So he's actually grown quite quickly. He does need a feed though, because he should be, he should be way bigger than that to be fair, but he cute. We love him. Right, I'm actually going to whiz over this plant quite quickly, right? Because I've picked this up today to film with and I can't help but feel I've held this plant up for you so recently and I don't know if it was an update or something else. I'm not entirely sure, guys, but I'm going to talk about it very, very briefly just because the new leaf has popped and we're looking really good. So this here is my wonderful variegated philodendron silver sword, also known as and should be known as really philodendron hastartum. So if I just show you up to the camera, it has has gone smaller however it's really cute and we've got the variegation that we wanted because I think hopefully you can see that there it's come from a really nice variegated leaf it's not the easiest to see on these plants where the variegation is but I promise it's there it's just really a lot more difficult when it's on these bluey silver leaves here and also it does seem to want to find my face but if I just show you there you should be able to see how cute that is like so so yeah I feel like I've held this up but I don't know have I I have this weird memory in my head of holding this specific plant up and talking about these aerials and how I could just cut it if I want to and I don't know where I've got that from so I may have held this up recently which, which doesn't surprise me because it is very cute but I just want to show you him very very quickly there's not a lot that I wanted to tell you about him other than this new leaf is looking good because I have taken some propagations of him recently and they're not as good as this one that's to be honest why I haven't cut this yet because I'm just trying to get a better yield off it before I cut it perils of variegation but he's looking really nice probably won't cut him yet I'm gonna let him go a bit more and then I will cut him really I should I should kind of repot him, you know. Maybe we should do a repot with me and I'll put him on a pole, see if I can climb him a bit because he'll get a lot bigger and a lot sexier because these, I do think, these have a value to them still. I'm pretty sure of that because there aren't many variegates out at the moment. And I think if you want one, you are paying a bit of money for them. I don't think they're cheap. It's only not like just pushing into treble digits. I think they're more than that. Could be wrong, could be wrong. I don't always keep up with plant prices because I can't, because I have too many, but I think they're actually quite expensive. So I will propagate that at some point maybe i might pop that um and put that up a pole answers on a postcard because look it is going well and it clearly needs to climb something so i think it's what well, it knows it's unstable so it's it's not wanting to really give me much but let me know what you think i should do with that and let me know if i've mentioned that because i feel like i have like i really i can't get rid of the urge to know that i've mentioned it that doesn't even make sense you know what i mean you know what i mean up next it is gloriosome time now i have some variegated gloriosome to show you because they're actually doing the, honestly they're doing the best they've ever done and i've paid waited for about a year for these things so that's really good but before that I actually want to show you some other gloriosome that I've kind of I mean I've kind of found them I'm just gonna level with you I've kind of found them and there's there's nothing super unique about them other than I think they're very brightly veined um I mean that's kind of it actually I'm, they're, I'm looking at them because they're at my feet because I have four of them to show you but I found them when I was pulling out plants for my rescue boxes and there was just some gloriosome that were really standing out compared to the others and I thought hey if I'm ever going to keep any and propagate them it's going to be these right so I just wanted to run them by you very quickly I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on each plant because honestly it's probably pretty self-explanatory but I want to show you them because they look really nice and I think you'll agree if I propagated these the, the gloriosum would be a bit nicer than the regular gloriosum so these haven't grown amazing because again these were in like the rescue box kind of section so don't be surprised if they're a bit you know gnarly but this is one of them and <laughs> I, it grows a little bit like dark form in a way. Like this looks so dark to me. Can you tell? It probably isn't. Um, I feel like I've only really got like one dark form around somewhere, maybe two. I don't know. I've kind of moved all my gloriosum. There is so much of it. I cannot tell you. So I have some X variegate gloriosum that stay separately. And then I have some non-variegate gloriosum that I just have. 
And I think I have literally, I have four massive trays full. And this is after a huge clear out of Glory or something that you guys will know about if you've got the rescue boxes. But anyway, I want to show you these. So this is really nice. There might be more of this. I don't know what this is other than it's definitely got some cracking, and I mean cracking veinage on it. It is a bit sort of twirled up, but I'm not putting this down to a regular growth as such. I'm actually putting it down to being so packed in with other plants, the leaves have come out. If you can see here, they've been put pushed on something, I think. If I do that, it kind of makes sense, right? So they've they've hardened off like this. So I don't think this is symptomatic of how the plant grows. This is the newest leaf. But literally, if I do that, you, you can tell they've been pushed on something, either a leaf or, I don't know, the edge of a tray or something, I don't know. But I want to show you it because it is really, really nice. This one specifically as well, second to last leaf. That is very, very dark. It's quite nice. So I want to propagate these at some point because obviously the veinage on it is absolutely fantastic. See, that's very dark as well. Can you see what I'm saying? This one is a little bit faded up anyway. It's also the first, so it's come from a propagation, but it's just kind of dark, guys. Can you see what I'm saying? It's just kind of dark. So I definitely want to do something with this, and that is why it's separate. It's actually not even been living near my Gloriosum. It's been in a completely different tray at the end. So I put him down. Um, this one here is kind of more of the same, I think. I would almost say it was the same. I think it has a tiny bit more sort of secondary veining than the first one. Actually, I'm going to pick the first one back up very quickly and show you because it is hard to see the difference but I would class these as pretty much the same if you know what I mean I'm being pedantic for the purposes of this video but I'm not about to say that this is totally different to this if you know what I mean so what would be a good one to show you kind of that to be honest kind of this leaf here but if I just sort of hold them up I don't know if you can see but this one here does have a little bit more going on in terms of secondary veining these tend not to it's hard to say and again I, guys this is the same plant this is not this is not me getting on camera going, oh look, this is like a new variety of Gloriosa and this one is different to this one. I'm not doing that. I think really, for all intents and purposes, this is the same type. That looks very round. This, mm, to be fair, this is less round. I will give it that. These are very, very round leaves. You can tell. All of them seem quite round. This so less, definitely less. Oh, that didn't even sound like a lecker. That sounded weird. So yeah, different shape, but you know what I mean? Sa same shape, different Gloriosa. So we've got those two. Now this one here is definitely different. Like 100% this is different from the others. And this has a lot more, kind of like a lot more white going through the secondary veins on the plant, which is kind of interesting. So I will show you it now. And it, it is a bit dog-eared because again, this was in the rescue box section. So this is something I have known about at one point, And then it's just sort of, it's just escaped my attention. But this here, you've really got to love it. Because look at this. For Gloriosum, this is kind of mint. You see that? How good is that? It almost looks like minty. And again, not saying it's mint. I'm saying with these sheer amount of white lineage, it kind of looks that way. Can you see what I'm saying? Now, has it stayed that way? Kinda, yeah. So on, there's two plants in here, just so I can actually show you, right? So we've got this one and this one. I'll show you this one first. So that's the leaf there that I've just showed you. That's the second leaf. The first one is, oh, the first one's kind of fried, to be honest. It's old, you can't really see much on that. That's the second that's like, oh, daddy. And then we've got the third that does seem a bit more normal. I will not lie to you whatsoever. That's him there. On the other plant though, it's kind of going in the other direction. And we have, that's not you, that's you. So this is the first leaf on the other plant. Apologies, it's not the easiest to do it. So you can definitely see that's happening still. The second leaf, it does still have the secondary sort of veins there, but they're just not quite as prominent. Try and hold it for you. And the third one, it's come back full force again. So then you have this on the third one in focus. See what I'm saying it is a bit different and when i hold it up to a gloriosum you might definitely see the difference because sometimes you just see them on their own it's a bit like yeah and so what so if i just show you anyone it doesn't really matter you should be able to see the difference here see that you should be able to see so that's like darker than normal and then you've got this weird sort of just thing going on can you see the difference there that's quite a big difference in my opinion because all of the leaves are kind of doing it and it just looks much much lighter and like almost frosty so obviously obviously she wants to propagate this doesn't she she does she does does. So I want to propagate this and just see if we can get that going because that's really nice. I, I don't know what you'd even call it. I don't know if this happens a lot. I've never personally had it happen and I'll be honest with you, I have a shit ton of glory or something here. We all know that. I used to have stupid amounts. I've probably got taken it down to half of what it was and that's just down to the rescue boxes. But I have a lot of glory or something here. I have a mixture of just the regular form with not a lot of veinage and then I have some more with better veinage. But this I haven't really had. So I'm going to keep an eye on it and propagate it. 
if I propagate it really soon actually and put it in with my feed, I know my feed makes this shit go ridiculous. So I've just had a big batch of feed ordered. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because it's the launch batch of feed. So I haven't officially come out and told you this yet because I just haven't. We're not quite there yet. But my feed is, it's been produced. It's in like a big container. It's now just about to go off to the bottling company. We have the, the containers, the packaging here to send to that company in order to fill it. And then it comes back to us and then we send it to our distributor and it's ready to launch. So we're so close, guys. Probably within about two weeks, we're so close. It literally needs bottled, sent back to us. We need to package it in two boxes. Then it has to go off to the distributor. So we're close. So what I'm getting at is I don't have any feed left here. I ran out and I thought, well, hey, let's just wait till it launches, right? Because only a couple of weeks. So what I want to do is anyway, unofficial update. I know a lot of you wanted that. Um, I will propagate this, get some of my feed on it because it goes boom. Also, if this is for some some weird reason, it's a nutrition thing, the feed will test that out quite easily because if it goes away with the feed, then hey, it wasn't meant to be. If it persists though, we get some really big, pretty, like silvery gloriosums. How sexy is that? So yeah, I will do some of these really soon, I think, really, really soon. I think if I do a repot with me, these should probably be in it. And this is why I've kept these back. It's to propagate. So maybe that's the next repot. Um, I'll either do that this week or maybe next week as an extra video. And we'll do that actually. Because these need these need a bit of love. You feel me? So that's him. Um, I have one more. And again, it's just just super dark, guys. Just super dark. And a bit stumpier, this one. But it's it's more of the same. See what I'm saying? This is really nice, Gloriosum. It's probably what a lot of you are calling, like, are people calling it zebra now? I, I don't even know. I've always gone with just, like, white vein or whatever. Because there are different Gloriosums, by the way. I know that I talk about sellers and coming out with bullshit a lot. But the different types of Gloriosum thing isn't bullshit. There are different ones. And I still need to do that video. The only reason I haven't done that video is because I don't think I've got all of the types here and that annoys me because I want all the types. I will have a look at some point and I'll do that. But yeah, this is clearly different and it's clearly awesome. See, I do have some secondary veining there as well. I know it can happen, but the veining on that is nothing like the one on the other Gloriosum I just showed you. That's got so much that it's gone frosted. So we'll just say anyway. Oh, it's a blister on that one, is it? A blister? I can't tell if it's a blister or it's just had something spilt on it. But again, these are from the rescue pile. So excuse their appearance. But very cute, very cute. So we're going to monitor those and essentially just see see how they go see what happens with them so i will let you know what happens with those we'll get some of my feed on them see if that silverness persists right uh last thing i want to talk about and i might have to put photos up for you because I, I don't think i can pull out every plant but i have got the best set right now of variegated gloriosum you have ever seen. It's great. I have done a really a couple of videos recently where I've mentioned gloriosum and just the problems I've had with it. And I found it so hilarious, right? Because I did a video where I, I basically banged on about how annoying it was and how unstable it was, because that's just the truth. It is. And it's really funny because one of the nurseries I actually sold my plant to puts a post out saying how stable it is. And I was just a bit like, why are you fighting? it don't fight it you know it's the same plant as mine it is my plant don't don't be doing that now don't be doing that now but anyway <laughs> fyi i guess and i'm just feeling spicy today but i thought i'd mention it because it did make me giggle a lot so i'm gonna maybe pick out a couple for you just to show you how the variegation is going because i have a i have a bit of a mix actually so stay with me on the line while i pick something up so this was one i found in a batch of non-variegated ones the other day because as i mentioned earlier on i do have oopsie i do have a tray of supposed like reverted bits and every so often they do pop back out with variegation but this is one i just found literally a couple of days ago it's not even fully out yet so can you see there i've mentioned this before about variegated gloriosum but it does come out a bit yellowy and then it does sort of go white afterwards so that's one of them that i've got it's very wobbly in the pot so i'm gonna put that back pretty quickly like so i have i think this one here is i might be wrong so if i am wrong i do apologize for this guys but i'm pretty sure this here is the raffle one so this might have already gone off to its new home, but this is the newest leaf, by the way. These are both green, but this is the newest leaf on one. And I'm pretty sure, I can't confirm, but I think it's the one I've raffled. So I will just let you have a look at this because somebody's gloriosum right now is on the TV or on your phone or wherever you're viewing it. So that's what he looks like. He's really, really nice. And he's got a lot of nice variegation in his petiole. So he should continue on very nicely because I have not cut from him. So he is very, very cute. If he is the raffle one, that is, I'm not entirely sure, but he should be the raffle one. We have him you've seen before. 
I'll show you very quickly. He is a half and half boy, a half moon boy. You, you know I hate him, guys. You know I hate him. If you missed my variegation rant last week, please watch it. Literally, please watch it because I rant on about half moons. But here is my half moon. And another thing, when I showed you this half moon a while ago, this was white and this was yellow. Can you already see here how it's not as yellow anymore? It's hardening off. It's going to harden off to white, guys. I don't know the science. I don't get it. I don't get it, but it is. So that there is going to turn white. It's definitely getting there because it was a lot more yellow than that. And it is starting to go like that. That's a lovely one. But again, I, you know, guys, I don't, I really don't condone half moons because they're, they're just not worth the problems that they give you. This one here is, is one of my better ones, actually. Please, no, hang on. Oh, my roots are so long. Oh my goodness me. Okay. That's insane. I don't think it was like this the last time I showed you. But this one here is a really good one as well, as you can see. This one's had variegation here here and now here. Notice again, same thing. So if anyone wants to buy variegated Glorosum, it doesn't have to be from me, it could be from anybody. This is what happens. So you get the white after, after it does this. So this is something I want to show you because it's Oh, it's just so good. Look at that. Look at it. So we're getting like three different layers come in, which is nice because previously I haven't. I've just been having really just the one layer. So that's really nice. Want to see how this one goes and hardens down. That's very, very pretty as well. As for the literally all the petioles and everything, it's it's gone really nicely. I think you might be able to see it there on this side, actually. You should see plenty of variegation in the plant. So I've got good hopes for that. It is wobbly because it just gets cut with an inch of its life, obviously. I spent a lot of money on this plant. I'm not going to not propagate it. But the perils are propagating it. I won't lie. It can be a bit of a nightmare. However, just give it time when it comes back. Mwah, very, very beautiful. But yeah, th this is weird. This is weird to me, by the way. I don't understand the science. This is yellow. It goes white. Why? 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 It makes no sense because I bet a lot of you, when you see very great gloriosum, you do tend to think, oh, it's yellow. It's a yellow plant, but it's not. It's just not. It's quite special. Sorry, I am just trying my hardest to get this back in here. I think this this tray has had the last of my feed in it, actually. So these will be just absolutely fine. What else do we have? I'll show you one more because I can't really show you the entire tray because that's just a bit much. Where What's happened here? All right, that's from a different plant. Uh, yes, okay. And the other one I'll show you is here because this, this has had a, this is what I mean. This, this, this is what happens with this plant. So we've got two plants here. This one's just stayed green kind of like on this side, don't know if you can see it. But this one, this one also was green. That's really loud. That was the ice cream truck. Great. So this one here has previously been green and this is what I'm talking about. But all of a sudden, bam, look at him. Very, 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 very cute. So that's kind of the journey I'm having with variegated Gloriosum. I do have others, by the way. Some of them are like all white. Some of them have less on. Some of them just have it on the margin. Like there is a load of different... Um, possibilities you could say with this plant but it was just to give you a little update on how they're doing because it, it is going very very well but in the spirit of complete transparency it hasn't always gone very well <laughs> it's been a bit of a journey but they seem to be quite good now and also i'm very excited about the glorious and that i showed you before they're at my feet those are the main updates for this video obviously you can probably tell it was glorious and that i really wanted you to be updated on but some of the other things i saw them and i thought oh really nice because they are so if you like this video please leave a like down below it lets me know that you enjoyed my content i suppose please do check out last week's video because i'm told it's very very funny dare i say and if you haven't already subscribed i would love it if you could do so that's it for this week's video guys i hope you enjoyed my updates please stay tuned for the feed i promise you it's not long i'm not deliberately shutting my mouth i just i need the product in the bottles okay and then i need to send it off and then i can tell you all about it and it will be ready for sale so please stay tuned for that and until then i will see you next week bye guys